this short film, we aim to give you information to make an informed choice in selecting the most appropriate electrically powered indoor-outdoor wheelchair, known as an Epioc. The wheelchairs shown in the film have been developed by Invercare, Ottobock and Sunrise Medical in conjunction with the MND Association to provide features that best meet the needs of people living with MND and other similar progressive conditions. The progressive nature of MND means that clients' needs change over time and their wheelchair needs to be easily adaptable. Research indicated that it was difficult to select an off-the-shelf wheelchair to meet these needs and by including the required features, this increased the cost and delayed delivery. Through working with users, NHS providers and manufacturers, we have developed a powered neuro wheelchair prescription and order form for each of the manufacturers of Epioc chairs that are available to NHS providers. The film will also show the different features of the chairs and the clinical reasons for their inclusion. Contact information will be provided at the end of the film. NHS wheelchair services do not provide outdoor-only powered wheelchairs but they do provide EPIOC, indoor-outdoor powered wheelchairs. And as such, the powered neuro wheelchair wheelbase is covered under NHS provision. You will see that the range includes wheelbases which are rear wheel drive and mid wheel drive. This gives choice in terms of maneuverability, options for space limitations and local environmental factors which may exist. People with MND become less able to maintain an upright posture against gravity. Each of the powered neuro wheelchair prescriptions has powered tilt-in space as standard. Without tilt, people living with MND tend to slump in their chair, slide forward on the seat or fall to one side. Repeated sliding can contribute to the development of pressure areas and also results in the need for repeated repositioning. Another feature of MND can be head drop, where there is weakness in the trunk, shoulders and neck. People may find that they have to sit with the buttocks at the front of a seat to keep their head in an upright position. By using tilt-in space, it is possible to use gravity to help lift the head up and enable the user to sit with their buttocks to the back of the chair, thereby gaining full support from the seat, backrest and headrest to prevent sliding. The type of backrest selected for the powered neuro wheelchair is a tension adjustable backrest to accommodate the shape of the spine fully. In progressive motor weakness it can be difficult to hold the trunk upright and there is a resulting developing kyphotic curvature to the upper spine. This can be compounded by head drop too. The kyphosis often develops from the mid thoracic region meaning that the pelvis can be in a neutral tilt and the lumbar lordosis needs supporting. The use of tilt in space can help reduce a postural kyphosis to a degree, but if the curvature is more fixed, it needs to be accommodated. Without this, it is not possible for the user to sit with their buttocks at the back of the chair, as the apex of the kyphosis hits the backrest, pushing the buttocks forward. People living with MND can lose soft tissue mass. Their spinal processes and shoulder blades can become very prominent and so adequate padding in the backrest is required through a cushioned backrest. The powered neuro wheelchairs can be purchased with a seat board so that the therapist can select the most appropriate pressure relieving cushion. We advocate immediately using a high pressure relieving cushion to prevent pressure areas developing and which negates the need to change the cushion in the future as the condition develops. Wide padded armrests support the arms better and enable greater arm and hand stability for driving and also provide pressure relief for the elbow. If the armrests are too thin, the user's arms can roll off them and users are less able to keep their hands on the controls securely. The headrest position will need to change as the user's needs change as MND progresses. There are a number of different headrest options, 
but the standard equipment on the powered neuro wheelchairs give a degree of adjustability without needing to change the style completely. It is possible that the range of movement of the ankles may change as the course of the disease progresses. By having angle adjustable plates and hangers, this can be accommodated without the need to change them. Separate hangers are recommended as there may be differences between the left and right feet and a single footboard would not accommodate for this. A pelvic belt is standard on the powered neuro wheelchair. It is essential to help try to secure the pelvic position on the seat, prevent sliding forward and shear. It is not always possible to drive the wheelchair in a tilted position due to space limitations and as such, the chair may need to be driven in an upright position. Due to trunk weakness, this could result in the user sliding forward in the chair. A pelvic belt will help prevent this. It is essential that the pelvic belt is secured tightly but comfortably, otherwise it can ride up over the stomach and cause injury. It is possible to include a riser on some of the powered neuro wheelchair prescriptions, although not every NHS wheelchair provider will fund this. The riser can help an individual to access facilities within their environment and also be important for them to continue with their employment, maximising their participation in society and their quality of life. The powered neuro wheelchair has a DXREM24 or P and GR net control system as standard. This is so that alternative controls and driving systems can plug and play on the same wheelbase. It is likely that someone will become less able to reach the buttons on the controls. By adding small switches, this can be easily overcome. The switches can be positioned anywhere where they can be accessed by the user, including knee guards and the headrest. Alternative controls such as a mini joystick can also be added. We advocate the provision of attendant controls, which is standard on one of the models of the powered neuro wheelchair. This is because people don't stop being able to drive their chair suddenly. They may be independent and safe in some environments, but fatigue or temperature may affect hand function. And so having the attendant control enables the user to remain as independent and safe as possible. With some of the alternative controls, it is recommended to have attendant controls as a safety feature, such as using head controls. Not all NHS providers will fund attendant controls. It is possible to link the wheelchair controls to other assistive devices as needed. For example, using the wheelchair joystick to control the mouse on the computer. Double tap to open. The iPortal will link iOS devices to the wheelchair. Android systems are also available. These need to be assessed for by the appropriate assistive technology services within your area. It is possible for some of the wheelchair control systems to be used as an environmental control as well. Talk to your local healthcare professionals and representative of chosen manufacturer for more details. Wednesday, the 11th of June. The powered neuro wheelchair does not easily fold and go into the boot of a car like a basic manual wheelchair. There are some powered wheelchairs available which can be broken down into parts to fit into the car, but they do not have features such as tilting space. These additional features which make it difficult to fold are included in the specification of the powered neuro wheelchair based on the clinical requirements of a user with a progressive neurological disease. To transport the powered neuro wheelchair, car adaptations are required as the chair is too heavy to be lifted into the car. It may be possible to drive the chair into a flat loading boot up a set of ramps, but this can be difficult to do. An option to overcome this is a boot hoist. This can lift and lower the wheelchair into the boot of the car, but it is necessary to remove or fold down the backrest of the wheelchair so it fits inside. Using a boot hoist will mean that the wheelchair user still needs to transfer into the seat of the car. Due to the nature of MND, this may not be possible in the future. So a boot hoist may be a time-limited solution for some people, and therefore it may be more cost-effective to consider a longer-term solution 
and look at wheelchair accessible vehicles. There is a wide choice of these types of vehicles available, but they all allow the user to drive their wheelchair into the car directly, removing the need for transferring into a car seat. We hope you found this film informative. You can get more information about the different powered neuro wheelchairs from each of the manufacturers and, of course, the MND Association. Please contact your local NHS wheelchair service for more information on the EPIOC process in your area, including their criteria for provision.